Converge entered the market in, in response to the nation's collective dissatisfaction with internet connectivity with the goal of becoming a challenger brand that promises high-speed pure fiber internet service that delivers the best possible experience at the most affordable price. And over the past years, the company was listed on Philippine Stock Exchange under one of the country's largest initial public offerings. However, as external and internal environment change, this situation necessitates adaptation. With that in mind, this study seeks to discover and um, propose strategies for Converge and stated are the specific objectives of this paper. Shown here is the conceptual framework of Converge strategic management. Input consists of assessment of internal and external environment and identifying competitiveness profile of competitors in which different matrices are used to process the data. Competitive profile matrix. As you can see in the graph, PLDT and Globe are the major competitor of Converge ICT. PLDT is one of the most strong competitor of Converge. It offers ideal bundle for its customer, whether it requires high-speed internet, a landline, or a mix of both. Smart token text and cellular are the brands under which PLDT offers wireless cellular services. PLDT's fixed line business provides corporate data, ICT solutions, data networking, and cybersecurity solutions to companies, small and medium businesses, and corporate customers. Another major competitor is Globe Telecom, which runs the Philippines' largest mobile network as well as one of the country's largest fixed line and internet networks. It is one of the most country's major telecommunications carriers. As of June 2021, Globe has 81.7 million total mobile su subscribers and also operates in the postpaid market and offers a variety of plan options. Additionally, they offer Globe Prepaid and TM which are both prepaid brands. Fixed line and internet business sector offers a variety of fixed line communication services as well as wired and wireless broadband access and end-to-end -end connectivity solutions. External factors assessed in the EFE matrix are the ones that are subjected to the wheel of social, economic, and other external forces. The most important factor for the industry is caused by the pandemic that raised the demand for internet services due to work from home and online class setups. Ultimately, it is indicated that Converge is effective and efficient in utilizing its opportunity and minimizing its threats with a weighted score of 2.60 which is above midpoint. Now, the EFE matrix goes side by side with the IFE matrix. The total weighted score of IFE significantly indicates a strong internal position as all of the strengths of Converge have greatly influenced the entire company structure as it serves their competitive advantage among other competitors, although the current weaknesses can also be attributed to the delay of deliverance of its strength. According to the graph, the Converge is in the competitive quadrant of a space matrix. It has to coordinate with an X component of positive 3.70 and a Y component of negative 0.34. This is demonstrated by because the company has both appealing and slightly unstable. Converge, Converge provides a number of benefits that are based on financial stability. Converge's strategic position and evaluation indicate that it belongs to this competitive strategies with the competitive strategies that the company must follow are the first, the company must take advantage of the financial strength. Next, it must maintain the development of the quality of products and service. And lastly, the company must provide a better customer service. This is the BCG matrix of Converge ICT Solutions. So as you can see, Converge offers two types of company operating services to its market, the residential and the enterprise business. So residential business is a quadrant star because revenues from the company's residential business increased by 94.6% by 2020. This is the growth rate. While its uh, market share increased by 54%, by December 31, 2020. On the other hand, enterprise falls under the quadrant question mark because it captures 29% market share by the year 2021 and growth sales or revenue grew uh, by around 9% year over year. So this means that Converge may employ strategies such as market penetration, market development, product development, and a divestiture. This is the IE matrix or the internal-external matrix of Converge ICT solutions. 
The IE matrix is made up of 9 cells with each division plotted in one of the cells based on the overall weighted scores of the division of internal factor evaluation and the external factor evaluation. Since the IFE and the AFE fall under the average and medium position, the company should hold and maintain its position. The strategies for this matrix are to increase their advertising expenditures, give a special offer to boost their sales, and continue to improve the network quality. Converge ICT Solutions is a leading force in offering value-added integrated solution as well as creating world-class network and internet connectivity. Converge ICT Solution falls into the first quadrant of the grant strategy matrix which indicate a rapid market growth and strong competitive position. The Converge grew 94% by the year of 2020 while it also achieved millions of increase and since the pandemic happens, it increases its market shares by 54% and also shows an increase on their subscribers. Converge also had a strong competitive position based on the rankings of internet providers in the country. In the present year, 2021, which we know that the students and some workers have to study and work from home and it results to more users and helps to increase the market share by 29% in the present year, as well as the revenue that grew around 9% over the years. Being one of the Philippines' fastest growing fixed broadband providers, Converge Information and Communication Technology Solutions Inc. has excelled in the telecommunication industry. To keep the company profitable and have their competitive advantage against its competitors, we present the four types of strategies in the SWOT matrix, namely SO, WO, ST, and WT. It includes strategies like product development and product line to provide innovative product and services and improve its quality. Maintain its hybrid pricing strategy and adopt market development strategy to continue its expansion across the country. Engaging in research and development as well as diversification of their product and keeping their backward integration strategy to continue to succeed in the industry. As can be seen in the table, the best strategies that needs to implement are the market penetration, product and technology development, which both earn an attractiveness score of 6.36. The market penetration strategies can help the company to increase their market share for their current product or services. This can be achieved by implementing a combination of strategies such, such as pricing, advertising, and sales promotion. Also, the product and technology development strategies can help the company to enhance their existing products and services and develop new products. By implementing this strategy, the company can increase their sales and possibly attract new types of customers. For the programs and action plan, there are three strategies. Under the market penetration, there are five action plans, which is to provide innovative services and products while utilizing contemporary technology infrastructures and qualified experts. The second one, which is to improve customer service, include expansion of customer hotlines and develop customer service, service up for basic troubleshooting. The third one is to maintain a positive and positive brand image and take advantage on the external opportunities. The fourth one which is to improve customer service. And the last one includes which is to enhance their service and continue to develop their networks and product innovation across the country. And for the product development, there are six action plans to increase capacity to handle new applications and installations. The second one includes this to engage in research and development to identify alternative resources. The third one, which is to continue to increase network quality. The fourth one includes, which is the diversification of product, services, and adopt, technology, and adopt technological innovation. The fifth one includes to make the most up-to-date resources available to its agents and nationwide and concentrate on in-depth product research and development. And the last one, which is to upgrade on broadband to be faster and more reliable. Under the market development, there are four action plans. 
The first one which is to provide excellent understanding of the public and private sectors demand and qualities infrastructure. The second one is which is to continue to disclose their financial statements to attract more potential investors. The third one is to maintain their hybrid pricing strategy to become more competitive in the market. And the last one which is to continue their innovation strategy and improve existing ones. We use the balanced scorecard as a technique to show the four areas that need to be evaluated based on the strategies developed for the company. The customers, managers or employees, operation or processes, and financial are the four areas that need to consider in the implementation of strategies. And as can be seen in the table, the four areas have their respective objectives, measures, targets and initiatives required for achieving good results of the strategy to be implemented. The contingency plan at Converge ICT demonstrates the important role of global connectivity and the importance of providing telecommunications and ICT for coordinating mechanisms to address an outcome other than in the usual. This contingency plan contains a number of suggestions for effective emergency response plans and responses in the telecommunications and ICT space. This contingency plan focuses on the provisions and business continuity of telecommunications and ICT services in certain pandemic situations such as COVID-19 and future crises. As companies and communities prepare, forecasts and preparations gives an overview of the various measures that can be taken in order to respond quickly and ensure network continuity and service delivery in the event of future re health-related emergencies and other crises. Some provisions and regulations are listed below.